Today's compact and unusually shaped electronics products bring new challenges to the development process. Just how do you ensure that that odd-shaped board fits inside the case without numerous prototypes or wasted molding tools? Solving this requires a completely integrated ECAD to MCAD design solution, a solution that goes beyond simple file sharing. On the ECAD side, Altium Designer solves this problem in a unique and novel way. Instead of translating complex three-dimensional MCAD data into a flat two-dimensional board design space, in Altium Designer, the PCB editor can operate in a true three-dimensional mode, allowing direct import, display, and collision detection of three-dimensional objects. Having true three-dimensional board design capabilities means that Altium Designer supports every potential ECAD to MCAD design scenario. You can transfer a complex board shape from SolidWorks to Altium Designer, and import complex component shapes into Altium Designer 2. And because those components are accurate 3D models and the collision detection is live, you can position components over the top of other components with complete confidence. Any collisions are immediately flagged. You can also import mechanical parts into Altium Designer, such as the product case or heat sinks, and test the board for fit inside the case right inside the PCB editor. And if the mechanical designer needs to change the board shape or case, well, that's handled too. Altium Designer will warn you just as soon as it's resaved, and with a few clicks, it's reloaded and you're back on track with the design. And to close the design loop, you can transfer the loaded board from Altium Designer back to SolidWorks, ready for mechanical integration into the overall product. So stick around, and I'll show you how this tight ECAD to MCAD integration gives you an unprecedented level of design confidence and efficiency, dissolving the traditional barriers between mechanical and electronics design. SOLIDWORKS and Altium Designer exchange data through the STEP file format. STEP, which stands for the Standard for the Exchange of Product Data, is an open file format developed specifically for transfer of data between software design environments. Firstly, we'll look at the process of transferring the board shape and the case from SOLIDWORKS to Altium Designer. There are two key requirements to be able to successfully transfer a mechanical assembly that includes the board shape. Firstly, I must ensure that the board is defined as a separate subassembly or part in SOLIDWORKS. That way Altium Designer will be able to uniquely identify and use that shape to define the Altium Designer board shape. Here you can see the case and board assembly in SOLIDWORKS. When I isolate the board, you can clearly see it as a separate subassembly, so I'm ready to export to STEP. The second requirement is to output the STEP AP214 format data as solid or surface geometry, rather than only as curves. Here you can see that SOLIDWORKS supports exporting as 3D curves or solid geometries. Select Solid Surface Geometry to be able to import the STEP data into Altium Designer. If the board shape or case design has to change, simply resave the STEP file with the same name into the same location and as soon as it's saved, a message will appear in Altium Designer, alerting the electronics designer and giving them the option to reload it. And here is Altium Designer with the imported case and board shape, ready to use during the board design process. Let's have a look at how we do that in more detail. Altium Designer has the ability to directly load MCAD data into the PCB editor. This import ability supports not only component shapes, it also allows you to import the case to check that the board fits within it. And you can also import the actual board shape itself. There are two approaches to working with step format data in Altium Designer. You can either embed the step data in the PCB file, or you can link to it. The advantage of linking is that as soon as the external mechanical data has changed, Altium Designer will notify you and give you the option to update the imported data in Altium Designer. I like to use linking for the board definition and the case and embed the component shapes. For linking to work, you need to define where the mechanical data is stored, which is done here in the models page of the PCB editor preferences. Okay. Here it's telling me that the relative paths are relative to the current project path. That means if I store the models in a subfolder within the project folder, they will be correctly detected in all of my projects. And any changes made to a linked model file will be automatically flagged. Now that the linking location is configured, I'm ready to import the board shape. Once that's done, I'll show you how the live updating features work. If your product has an interesting case that is housing an unusually shaped board, then it makes sense to define the board shape in the MCAD design software. 
Transferring that shape definition to the Altium Designer board shape is a simple process. First, I'll create a new board and go through the steps of linking the MCAD case and board shape. There's the new board in 2D. Let's view that in 3D. To import the case and the board shape, I select the 3D body command from the place menu and set the model type to step. In case you're wondering, the reason I selected the 3D body command is because Altium Designer stores step data inside one of its 3D body objects. Okay, you can see that the step model has been detected in the project's models folder. So I'll select it and click OK, and then place it off to the side of the current board. I can click Cancel to close the dialog now that I've finished placing the 3D bodies. I can manage the display of the 3D models, including their opacity, by switching the PCB panel to the 3D models mode. The 3D model is not part of a component, so it's classified as a free model. I'll hide the top half of the case, and then the bottom half, and there you can see the board shape as it was defined in the MCAT environment. Here on the left, you can see the default board shape that was created in the new PCB file. I can redefine the board shape in a variety of ways here in the board shape submenu, including directly from a 3D body object. The status bar is prompting me to choose a 3D body, so I'll click on the board. It's now prompting me to select a face. I'll click on the top face. Since I clicked on the top face, I'll let Altium Designer know that I want that face to represent the top layer of my PCB. This dialog is also giving me the option to hide and disable DRC checking for this model. That simply means its display state is set to hidden, and its DRC checking flag is turned off, as you can see here in the PCB panel. And there's my Altium Designer board shape, complete with cutouts and mounting holes matching the shape defined in the MCAD design software. Product design is an iterative process, so none of us are surprised when there are changes in the mechanical data. In my case, the board shape has changed in the MCAD software, with a number of holes being removed. Since I have linked the MCAD data to the Altium Designer board file, flowing these changes through to Altium Designer is straightforward. As soon as the step file is resaved from the MCAD software, a dialog appears in Altium Designer warning me that the file has changed. I'll click Yes to reload the step data into my Altium Designer 3D body. Altium Designer also remembers that the step shape was used to define my board shape, so is now prompting me to update the board shape. I'll click Yes to update the board shape and go through the same sequence of steps to select the face and align the surface. If I had chosen to embed the step data rather than link it, I would need to go through this process manually myself.